Hi, Roy. Uh, this is Jack. Uh, I'm the owner of the uh, blue truck that you left a note on. Okay. Uh, could you please give me a call at 37? Because uh, I will have to call the city and file a police report. Oh, no. Uh, so if you could call me before I do that, that would be great. Crap, this was I yesterday. Bye bye. Don't call the police, Jack. Hello? Hi, Jack. Yes. I, uh, I'm i returning your call. Sorry it took me a day. I, Who's I was, this? Oh, this is Roy. I left a note on your oh, truck. Oh, hi, Roy. Hey. You did. What did you hit it with, Roy? Oh, I didn't hit it exactly. I wrapped a chain around the axle, and I, I towed it. Like, my friend bet me that I couldn't tow it with my little Nissan, because I have, like, a little Nissan car. Yeah, okay. What's the joke, Roy? There's no joke. I, I towed your truck, uh, you know, just a few feet, and then I put it back. No, no, you didn't, Roy. Oh, yes, I did. Why do you say I didn't? Where did you ding the truck at? Uh, well, I didn't. When I said ding, I meant I wrapped a chain around the axle. And then I. If you did that, Roy, I promise you there's cameras all over there. If you indeed did that, the lawsuit that's going to come is going to be tremendous. Well, don't be like that. Come on. I. I, no, I, was, I will be like that. It's a brand new fucking truck. I know, but I've got like this little Nissan. Ver- I don't care. I don't care. You know, it's a Nissan Versa Note. Like I, I don't care what it is. My friends always tell me it's the gayest car ever, and it couldn't tow anything. And I just wanted to prove them wrong. Well, I don't care what your friends tell you. Well, calm down. I, I was just trying to be nice and let you know what happened. I'm going to call the the police department right now oh, don't. and give them your phone number. No, don't do that. No, I am doing that. Why? Cuz I didn't even hurt I didn't do anything because illegal. I don't give a shit. I didn't do if anything. You did that to the truck, you're a fucking moron. But I, I didn't do anything wrong. You're being an asshole. Hey, you fuck you didn't. You touched my property. All I did was tow your truck a little. You didn't have a fucking right to touch it. I know, but like You understand me? I bet you wouldn't think that a little Nissan could do that. Like, I got a little hatchback. I don't give a shit what your little Nissan could do. And and when I was putting your truck back... And when you see the size of the kid that drives that truck, you're lucky he didn't come out, because he would have fucking pounded you. Oh, no. Come on. Nobody's like that. Oh, yeah. He's too... Don't be... 63280. Oh, yeah. When I was towing your truck back into its place... It made a noise. Yeah, I'm calling the police right now. No, it, it made a noise, sir. It, it was like, you, I'm, know, you know the... Sm- I'm calling the police right now, Jack, Roy. Jack. Have a good day. You know the smoke monster and lost? It sounded like that. Jack. Roy. What? Listen to me fucking clearly. I am hanging up and I'm calling the police. Why? Just to be a crybaby? Come on. You touched my property. You totes. You did something you should have never done. I didn't hurt it. I will it. see you in court, Roy. I didn't hurt it. I except, will see you in court. Except for that sound it made when I put it back. Yeah, I'll see you in court, Roy. You have a good day. Wait, Goodbye. so it's not even your truck? It's like your son's or something? It's my son's fucking truck. Well, why, did, why didn't he deal with this? Was he a pussy? Because he's 18 and I'm fucking 60. What? And I'll let him handle it from here on out. He's an adult. You know, he can handle his own shit. Why don't you just stay off the phone? Why don't you kiss my fucking ass? Well, you're being a dick about How the... How the fuck does that sound? You fucking moron! Okay. Uh, you're you're making me cry with the yelling you're doing? Yeah, I'm calling the police right now. Don't Have call the day. Don't call the police. I'm calling them right now. No, don't call them. I was, I was trying to give you my insurance. Oh. Timber. Roy's the man, the man with the cacti touch. He'll strip your love nuts. Such a phone loser. Beckons you, but sorry about that. 
Don't you read? I kind of hard to believe you'd be messing with my blood nut. Racist? Are you a different race, Roy? Yes, or sir? are you the asshole race? I was hotboxing. What's that? You smoke one marijuana while the windows are all rolled up? That's got fucked up. Why sure. were you jerking on my handle? December. Hey everybody, it's a brand new snowplow show after a couple of weeks on hiatus. I didn't mean to do that hiatus thing, but it just kind of happened. Anyway, this is episode 818 of the snowplow show. We are already halfway through Ding Timber, and I haven't even posted a show yet. What's wrong with me? I'm the worst. But I guess as a lot of you know, I've been on a trip these past few weeks, which ended with the meetup in Chicago, or not in Chicago, west of Chicago. But, you know, the meetup, the Dragon Mirror and Wasted Memory set up, it was a lot of fun. I got to meet a lot of people. I can't believe how many people showed up there. We didn't really get an official count or anything, but it had to be at least 40 people. Right? Everybody that was there? That was a pretty good turnout. And that was an awesome event, the uh, Vintage Computer Fair Midwest. Thanks for setting that up, Dragon Mirror and Wasted Memory. That was a lot of fun. We had a table and everything, and a lot of people came up and said hello. And that was fun, just hanging out with people and exchanging crazy prank stories. This episode of the Snowplow Show is brought to you by Get Go Deliver. Wow, sounds like I'm doing ads now. Uh, also, Know You, Mudhorn, Kurt M, and Ben Q666. Those are a few of the people that support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash phone losers. By the way, thank you for that intro song, Liz. Liz made that for us years ago for Digging Timber. It's one of my favorite things that gives me copyright warnings from YouTube. Thanks for that, Liz. So today and yesterday, I've been recording some carding calls. Uh, while I was on the road, I, I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm on my way home, but I'm going to be stopping at rest stops and answering calls. And I didn't get to do that. Like, I tried several times, but there was always some problem. Like, the, there would just be no internet at all at the rest stops. So we couldn't listen to voicemails. And then if I stayed at a hotel... They didn't seem to be the kind of hotels that had really thick walls so I could be screaming at people in prank calls. I need to start asking about that whenever I book a hotel. Be like, can I really scream at somebody good on the phone and my neighbors won't hear me? Because I do that a lot. I have done one Ding Timber show this year so far, and that was in the most recent Hobo Sode, which was released on September 5th of 2023. And that ran for about 54 minutes. So if you want to hear 54 minutes of carding calls, go listen to that hobo sode on Patreon if you're a supporter. But the first call you heard on today's show, the one I played at the very beginning, that was from that hobo sode. Although there is a sequel to that call, because Jack called the cops on me. Anyway, happy Ding Timber, everybody. This is the time of year that we call Ding Timber, which is actually September. This is where you, the listener, get to leave notes on cars that say, Sorry I dinged your car, please give me a call back. My phone number is 913-721-6670, and you sign your note, Roy, and I start getting weird phone calls, and then I get to say crazy things to the people that call me up. I'm thinking we're probably going to have to go into a little bit of October this year just to make up for me being gone for a week, but so far, not a lot of my calls have been ruined because of my not being able to call them back in time. Usually, the longer they have to think about it, the worse the calls go, I think. But I'm probably going to be doing a ton of shows just to do all these ding numbers that have been coming in, all these messages I've been getting. So let's get started with that. Hope you enjoy these. Hey, Roy, I got a, a note on my car that you dinged it. What? Uh, give me a call back, 499-99. Thank you. You don't say. Hello? Hello, who's up? It's Roy. I was returning your call. That was like from a week Roy, ago, who? though. Uh, Roy Gerbel? Yeah. I don't know who you are. Oh. Who are you? 
Well, you left me a message, sir, about digging your car. Okay, sir, that's all you had to do. I, I'm a busy guy. I, I oh, do things and forget about it. You don't have to brag so about you it. You know, I've, I get it. You're so important. No, nope, just but a I, busy guy. Okay. Never said anything about being important. Okay, I'm calm down. Busy guy. Calm down, sir. So you hit so you hit my car or did you not? Well, I didn't hit it. I, I, I opened the door, the the um driver's side door with a shimmy. Your th- driver's side door? No, yeah, you, your driver's side door and yeah. No, the, you, your driver's side door. I opened your door. Oh, Andy, my driver's side door. I gotcha. Yeah, you know how you still have cool. a CD player? Like my car doesn't have a CD nope. player. Yeah, I don't have a CD player either. No. Yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. I thought there was a CD player in there because it looks like there okay, is. So like, did you if hit you... the door? Or did you not? Because I'm looking at it and I don't see any marks. No, I I said I didn't hit the door. I just I used a tool to open the door because your door was locked and uh, just like right along the edge, uh, like kind of below where the lock is. Uh, I kind of bent the. You know, bent the the piece of metal next to the door. I guess that would be the back door. Or wait, there's not a back door. Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about, dude. Yeah, I was just opening I have your no door. Idea what you're talking about? I was opening your door because yeah, I wanted the to. The note use... I got was you hit the car. I got I hit. Hey, the car, stop so yelling what, at what, me! What stop yelling do? at me! Jeez. Well, stop talk. Stop talking in circles. What did you do to the car? I I opened it up and I tried to use your CD player, and your car does not Fuck have you, a... dude. <laughs> I should have known his car would not have a CD player. Who has a CD player anymore? Oh my god, I have so many dig numbers. These are out of control. Hi, my name is Sue. Yeah, I was calling last week. All he had for sale is so still available. And um, can you give me a call back at 341 Thank you. Man, this lady is crazy or something. Because she has called me about a billion times about this doll thing. And I'm using the um, Google Voice thing for the prank line, which is that old 508 number, which I actually disconnected last week. But I think the calls still come through for another month. And that's probably what that's about. Sue just wants her doll head. But she's left at least a dozen messages here, like every single day. Some of them are just hangups and some of them are messages again. She really wants this doll head. Hello? Hi, Sue. Hi. Yes. Hey, it's Roy. Uh, you were calling about. Oh, hi. Hi, you're calling about my doll head. Yeah. Um. Uh, hang on, hang on one second. Okay. <laughs> Sue, your dog's barking. Hang on a second. Let me get upstairs so I can hear it better. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, that, that dog of yours. It's like urf urf. Um. I've got those we're talking about now. Huh? Um, hang on. Um, what dolls were we talking about? I'm sorry. Oh, I the, got distracted by I, the teeth. I think the doll head. But um, have, oh. you ever, have you ever seen that that YouTube channel, Will It Blend? Uh, maybe. Oh, the guy's got that super fancy blender. And uh, he'll put just random objects inside the blender and chop them up. And anything he puts in there oh. chops up, and then he's like, he's like, don't breathe this. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen that one. <laughs> oh, never seen that one. <laughs> Your doll head ended up on that channel. Ew. Yeah. Don't like, huh? Ew. What do you mean? Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. That's uh, never seen doll head in, in a movie like that before. <laughs> yeah. What was in a? Is, he put it in a blender. He's a scientist. Oh. He wears a scientist jacket, and <laughs> I went. I went to a convention. Uh, of YouTubers, <laughs> and he was there, and I just happened to have the doll head in my pocket. So <laughs> it's just you know, you know how it goes sometimes. <laughs> it it bled real blood though. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know if it was haunted or. <laughs> um. No. But, um. I'm sorry. Turn. You're fine. I'm just trying to get my memory back here and doing other stuff here and got been a long day. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm all right. I just um, I was watching something on TV and I just had to take my medication. <laughs> Sorry oh, about that. What was on TV? Um, uh, Beyond Belief. Oh, my. That old TV. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, something, it's, it's some friend of mine. 
I'm a friend. No. Huh? I'm a friend. Uh, yeah, yeah, your friend. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, oh, you're welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, it was. Um, hang on. And some of these things, that, some of this stuff that they use in props on TV are pretty weird now. Um, like in the Titanic, they have a, an actual dull head in the beginning of the movie. Um, they, use, they use an actual dull head in the beginning of the movie. Yeah, that's why we, uh, we thought it would look cool on uh, Willa Blind. <laughs> Willa Blind. Um, Blind. Huh. I've never heard that before. Yeah, we just we put um, it in the blender and it just chopped it right up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how long were you? I forgot how you were selling altogether. Oh, just uh, you know, a lot of doll stuff. Oh, but I didn't think it like, would bleed real blood. Is that normal? <laughs> normal for doll heads? I don't think so. Oh. Uh, no, no, that's well, they might have used a fake blood of some kind. Yeah, well, it also screamed. Uh, uh. It, it screamed also. Okay. <laughs> um. So how's the? What's new with you? Oh, not much, you know, just <laughs> ha- hanging in there. Been traveling out yeah. a lot to the YouTube conventions. <laughs> you should look up that YouTube channel, Will It Blend? Okay. What was that one, the doll, uh, the haunted doll, the one, the boys thing? I couldn't find it on UPS, uh, on a thing. The haunted doll? Yeah, you said there's a haunted doll. We oh. were talking about haunted dolls on Craigslist. That one on Craigslist. Oh, well, that's that's the thing. Yeah. I I gave all the doll stuff to the Willow Bloom guy. Oh, because I, I just okay. I wanted to. I don't want a haunted doll anymore. <laughs> it's freak, freaky. And they can be creepy, and sometimes they're not really haunted. They're just saying that so the, that so people actually will buy this thing. <laughs> oh no, I think this one was really haunted. That's why I wanted to like uh, chop huh. it all up. I'm hoping whatever ghosts <laughs> were in there is like rotting in hell now. Okay. Well, you might give it to um, the one that the one you're selling on the crisis. Might want to give that one to him. Uh, oh my so. gosh, I have to poop. Okay. It's an emergency. I'm sorry, I have to go. Okay, I'll talk to you another time then. I love you. Uh, bye. 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 Hang up that phone. Hang it up. You hang what? up. Hang up that phone right now. She was enjoying the call way too much. I did not like talking to her. But yeah, I've got all these messages here from her, which I am now deleting. Thanks for interrupting my call dings, lady. Any of you know what she's talking about? The doll head at the beginning of Titanic? I do not remember that. Here's a message where she wants me to take money orders from her. I'm just reading the transcripts as I delete them. All right, I think I got them all. Oh, shoot. You know what? I accidentally went too far back on my messages. That's what that's all about. That was from early August before I left on my trip. So that was all my fault. Really, I should just delete that one. But whatever, I'll just leave it there for now. Here's a guy calling me repeatedly. Motherfucker, answer your phone. And it's from an area where ding notes have been left a lot. Answer your fucking phone. Let's see, does he call? Roy, answer your fucking phone. (laughs) Oh yeah, he's a... He's still calling a few days later. Oh, that's 11 seconds of silence. Here's another one of just silence. Okay, well, wait, hold on. Let me let me play back at least one more of his messages where he talks. Oh, they're, they're all basically the same Roy, thing. Roy, what the fuck, Roy? Come on, Roy. Well, he's not picking up. This is going terrible today. Hey, Roy, uh, you left a note on my truck that you dinged it. And I looked it over. I don't see anything. Um, if you did, it was really minor. Yeah. Uh, minor, I, unless you hit another car. I don't know. Um, but it looks fine to me. A little ding, even if you did a little ding, it's fine. Uh, if you need to uh, talk to me, give me a call. Oh, I need to. Please leave your message for... Bill, Bill. Try him again. Hello. Hi, Bill. Hi. It's Roy. Roy? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm 
lost. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I'm sure I know you. Well, I, you know, you, you left me a message uh, like about oh a, a, on your car. Yeah, you you hit the truck or something. Yeah, I haven't noticed. I, I didn't haven't noticed. I didn't hit it. It's more like more like a ding because I was trying to open the door to see if you had a CD. Oh, don't pl- worry about it. Oh, he was so nice of you. Um, I honestly, I've looked it over. <clears throat> there were some scratches on there. I didn't notice anything. So oh, it was just like um, along the side of the door. Uh, I was using a kind of a, a thing to open it because your door was locked. Oh, okay. And uh, I so bent... your door hit the the door door on the truck. Eh? Oh no, no, I just I bent the metal as I was opening your door because I was trying to get in there to see if your CD player worked. Huh? Your your CD player. It's it's a uh, it stands for oh. co- compact disc. It's an old uh, right. format of media. But a lot of people. Yeah, still you have... were... so Roy, I think maybe we're mixed up here. I have a black Silverado truck. Yeah, that and, sounds right. And in the truck, um, there is. I don't even think I have a CD player. I have a, a you know, a smart screen and all that. So yeah. you were in the truck. Yeah, I, I was um, in the truck, and I'm confused. I thought there was like I looked in there. It looks like a CD player. You know, it's got the big okay. screen on it, but then I got in there and there was no, there was no slot for the CD. Right. And I tried to, so pull- were you working? Cause I, I don't even remember you being in my truck. I mean, Oh no, I, I was just in there when you had it parked. You just went in there. Yeah. Yeah. I used a, I have like a little tool that opens up doors, uh, okay. with, without a key. And I, I just wanted to use your CD player. Because I, I just bought like the new uh, C, the Mead Skelton CD. I see. And, That's uh, an odd thing. So really, you just randomly go to cars and trucks and play their CD players? Yeah, but I, I thought you had a CD player and that was the thing. You didn't have one. No, it probably doesn't have one. Um, I'll leave it unlocked for you for next time. Okay, I have to appreciate that. That's okay. No but problem, I mean, it's right? not that often <laughs> I get this excited about a CD. CD player, I, yeah. Yeah, I was, I was just... 90s technology I was at the, the uh, best. I prefer eight tracks myself. Yeah, well, that's hilarious. But yeah, I, I was at <laughs> Starbucks, and uh, you know, I got the new Meat Skeleton CD. Just really wanted to listen to yeah. it. Yeah. Well, you know, you have to have the ignition key to play a CD. Oh no, no! I just get under there, and uh, it, it's like hot wire in a car, but it's easier because you just oh, have to do the one you're wire with that that goes to the radio. Yeah, that's. If you ever need help with that, let me know. I can teach you. Um, very good at that myself. It's uh, a fuse. You just get a little wire, and anyways, you probably know that. Yeah, just bypass it. It's easy. Yep. Well, Roy, I'm glad. Uh, sorry you couldn't play your CD. Oh no, it's okay. I got home and uh, I played it when I got home. I have a CD player okay, at home. Great, great. All right, Roy. You have a great day and better luck on your next uh, visit into a vehicle. On my my next what? Your next visit into a random vehicle. Oh, yeah. Well, hopefully it won't be, you know, I don't do it often. It's just at that CD oh. and. Sounds like fun. I might try it. What? Listening to a Meat Skeleton CD? No, it's randomly going into a vehicle and playing. I would use a, the uh, thumb drive. Yeah, well, it was a CD. Like, I, I got it at um, Starbucks. They don't really sell thumb drives of music. I see. Now, Roy. Yeah. Or is this this is obviously a prank? Um, what? No. Are you sure? I mean, it's odd. Uh, if not, it should be. You should record these things. Oh well, I don't. My phone calls are probably not that interesting to other people. I don't know why well, I would record them. It, it. Let me help you out here, because I was a teacher for thirty years. Now I work for the police, ironically, but not as a cop. I'm a probation. Oh, um, good. Uh, no, it, it's highly unusual to go into a parked car. Oh yeah, I, I know that. CD player, but you got you got to understand it was Meat Skelton, and uh, this is, I see. You know, he just released the CD, and I didn't know where to get it. And I go into I Starbucks, and there okay. it is on the shelf with the other ones. Well, I'm a pretty I'm a pretty liberal guy. You can go in my truck anytime. Oh, thank you. All right, can I go in there and smoke weed? Well, Cause sure. Some sure. people don't like the just smell. Leave um. I prefer chewable, so if you have extras of those, leave those on I wasn't offering you weed. I was just saying I was going to go in there and smoke. I see. All right. Well, Roy, I'm kind of busy here. I'm at a store 
mercantiling. And uh, I will talk to you maybe later. I don't know. Okay. All right. I don't see why right. we would. Enjoy, but... your, uh, enjoy your CD, okay? Oh, thank you. It, it's a pretty good All one. Right, bye. All right, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Hang up the phone. Man, fucking nice people. Always being nice. Not yelling at me. I think I might try the CD thing one more time. Hey, Roy. Uh, I see the note on my car that you dinged it. Um, give me a call back when you get the chance. I just want to know, like, what happened. And if, like, you notice any damage. Uh, okay. I do have some ideas here from uh, mostly people on the Patreon, but there's a few ideas here from YouTube also. And I kind of like this idea from Sanity Minds. I mean, he's got a bunch of ideas in here, but I like his very last idea. It was like Hello? A lot of, a lot of hey, his, uh, I, I, um, I'm returning your call. It's Roy. Oh, hey, Roy. Hey. So I uh, just wanted to, can you give me a rundown on like, what happened? Yeah, uh, I was trying to get into your car because I needed, I needed a piece of paper to leave a note. Um, to let you know that I dinged the car and while I was, uh, sh- you know, getting, you know, shimmying my way in there, uh, I left, I, the, the tool I was using to open up your car kind of scratched up right next to the door there. You, you were doing what? Oh, I was trying to get into your, into your car so that I could, um, I, I needed a piece of paper to leave the note that said, sorry, I dinged your car. You were trying to get into it. Yeah, I was trying to get in there. To, uh, you know, you know I, just need, I just needed a piece of paper. But do you understand how stupid that sounds? What do you mean stupid? I, I like I didn't you're have trying to get into. You're trying to get into somebody else's car. Yeah, to get a piece of paper. I already had a pen. I just didn't have a piece of paper to write the uh, note on to leave under your windshield. So, so let me get this straight. You were trying to get into somebody else's car. Yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Okay. You're trying to get into somebody else's car. Yeah. That's not yours for a piece of paper. Is it not your car? Like the way you're talking, it sounds oh, like. That is, that is my car, but I'm saying. But you're saying you know, I'll kick your ass if I see you, right? You're saying it's somebody else's. Why would you kick my ass? I left a note. Okay. No, no, no. Let me, let me repeat this. So you are telling me you're trying to get into my car to grab a piece of paper. Yeah. You know I'm going to kick your ass if I see you, right? Well, that's not nice. I left a note. I, I was trying to be a uh, res- Okay, I just need to know, but you're trying to break into my fucking car. You know who I am? Well, no, I successfully broke into your car. I got the, the paper out of there, and that's when I left the note. Well, I don't have any paper in the car, so I know you're bullshitting. So how about this? Uh, how about it was in the glove you box? You need to buy that fucking parking garage, and I'm going to kick your fucking ass. You hear me? Oh, I, I don't think you could kick Suck my ass. Up. I'm a sensei, motherfucker. You're a sensei, and I got a 9 millimeter that's ready to blow your fucking head off. Oh, because you don't know how to fight, so you have to bring a gun into it? That's you cute. Do, you do karate. You know how much of a bitch you sound? You know how much of a fucking pussy you sound to do karate? What? Cause I, I know 16 I could... people who know my tie. I know two black belts. You know how much I can kick your fucking ass? I don't think you could, because, uh, you know, I'm a sensei, and... Where are you? I... Tell me where the fuck you... I dare you. I fucking dare you. Oh, I'm out, but... I know you didn't find no piece of paper in my car. I'm a... There ain't what? no damn paper in my car. So you better tell me where you fucking got that paper and it, why you're trying to get it in my damn car a, before I whoop your fucking ass. It's you not a dent, stupid. It, it's it's just like a little scrape that my uh, okay, t- I, my I, tool I know left. what you're talking about, but, but I, I'm, I don't give a fuck about that, to be honest with you. Okay? Well, I give a fuck about it, what you're saying. You're trying to get into my car. Yeah, just for a piece of paper. Like, settle down. It's just a piece of paper. It's not valuable. I don't, that's not the fucking point. Are you fucking retarded? Do you have Down syndrome? Are you an Oakland Grizzly that you're so fucking stupid, you stupid fuck? Uh, no to all of that stuff. You have three fucking chromosomes in you? Do you know, like, are you, I, I guarantee you, you're fucking retarded, you have nerd glasses, and you're 500 fucking pounds. Okay. Don't get me get started. You're getting me good. Uh, it's, it seems like a little... What un- the fuck you think you're doing? It seems like a little unnecessary. I was just... I left a note like a good neighbor. You're welcome. Okay, I understand, but can you're he, telling me you're trying to get into my car. Can like, you thank who me? Who the fuck says that? Well, I think you should thank me. Why are you trying to get into someone else's car? I already explained that because I needed to get a piece of paper to write you a note to let you know that I dinged it. Listen, Sensei fucktard. Uh, sensei don't Doug. Don't ever do that stupid shit D- again. You don't know who the fuck you're going to mess with. I hope one day you do it again and someone shoots you in the fucking point blank. Someone shoots me in the point blank. Right there. What, what does yeah. that mean to shoot me in the point blank? 
I don't know. Are you that retarded? You can't fucking understand words. Well, you're you're just not saying the words very well. You're saying you're saying shoot me in the point blank. What part of my body is that? Tick tock, tick tock, doon 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 doon. No answer for that. Sir, did you hang up the phone? I am seeing no indication on my end that you hung up. Also, I can still hear you breathing. Why are you breathing so hard? Are you getting excited about our upcoming I'm, fight? I'm just mind blown that I've never met someone as stupid as fucking you before. I actually, I'm actually left speechless. Then how are you talking? You what say, do you, what do you drive? You say what you're, you drive? you Let say you're left speechless yet. You're where talking you a lot. Where do you stay? Tell me where you stay. Um, well, I'm out by the Walmart right now. And, uh, you're out by the Walmart? Okay. yeah, I have a Nissan hatchback. Okay. Okay. I'll be sure next time I see you, I'll, I'll make sure to leave my own little note for you. Okay. Yeah. Le- leave a note on every Nissan hatchback you see. Yep. Yep. Just for you, man. Like just, just, you. just write that. I'm going to kick your ass. Say that a bunch. You'll, oh. you'll sound really scary that way. Don't worry. I'll, I'll make it scary for you. Just for you, buddy. I'll okay. make it scary. All right. All right. Go fuck yourself. Okay. Why, why are you so mad? <laughs> he was, like, nice in the message. And here he is yelling at me and threatening my life and stuff. Bringing guns into it all. So I assure you these are all real. I mean, it's it's possible, I guess, that, you know, they could be fake. But so far they're all from an area where it's like a, a trusted person leaving notes. I know he's leaving notes around there. So I'm just sticking to his area for now. I will go into other areas soon, though. I noticed one other area that was getting a lot of calls coming out of it. Should that be today's show title? I'm going to shoot you in the point blank. I'm going to call him back with Beverly. <laughs> oh, by the way, that idea I just did, that was by uh, Sanity Minds, which I think came from YouTube. He had a bunch of ideas on here, like uh, I was running from the cops. I decided to hide in your car. My wife left me, so I had to sleep somewhere. I replaced your oil with vegetable oil. I drank your windshield washer fluid. But the one I really liked was uh, I needed paper to write the note to put in your car to say that I dinged your car. So I broke into your car to get the paper. It's just like the uh, paradox call with accidentally scraping up their window with a screwdriver. Except I feel like this is a little more realistic. And also, what kind of car doesn't have paper in it? Is that guy a psychopath or something? Everybody has like a sheet of paper in their car, in the glove box maybe. Hey Roy, uh, apparently you hit my vehicle. Um, I'd like a call back at 257 to figure this out. Thanks, bye. Okay, looks like I got another call up here from him. That is a hang up call later in the day. And that's the last I see from him. This is from about a week ago. That's what most of the stuff I've been calling is from. From last week. Hello? Hey, it's Roy. Um, I'm returning your call. Yeah, uh, you, you're the one who's done in my car, apparently. Yeah, yeah. I was just, uh, I got inside your car. I was hiding from you're, somebody. What's that? I got inside your car. I was hiding from somebody. What do you mean? Uh, I was being chased, and I just had to hide somewhere, so... I got your door open and I I hid inside for a little while. Um, but well, like well, I was bending down like in your seat, and um my um the the spikes on my boots they like uh they they got your uh, dashboard. Really? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. So why why would you think that it was okay? Uh, well, no, that was an accident. Like my my boots have spurs on them. Like I'm kind of like an old fashioned cowboy and the, the spurs, they got stuck up in the dashboard because I was, I was in a weird position. I was like down in your floorboard, just hiding for quite a while. And I, I didn't, um, know, I didn't know what was happening. I've, I've got like, you know, nervous, uh, ner- nervous, uh, you know, like the, what do they call that? Where you bounce your knee a lot. I was doing that, but you know, I was with my, my spurs one second, please. Who was that? Hold 
Hello? What happened? Hey, I got hung up on. Let me try them right back. Hi, it's Tyler. I'm not here right now, but if you leave your name and number, I'll get back to you soon. Come on, Tyler. I think his woman made him hang up on, on me. Hi, it's Tyler. I'm not here right now, but if you leave your name and number, I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you, bud. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, Tyler. It's Roy. Uh, I was talking to you about the carding. And then I, I heard some stupid bitch say something in the background, and then you hung up on me. Uh, so if you could, I don't know, maybe just call me back later when the stupid bitch is gone. I'd appreciate it so I can give you my insurance or whatever. Thank you. Bye. Sorry to be so sexist, everybody. If you happen to be a stupid bitch, it's nothing personal against you or anything. I was just trying to say something that would make him or her call back. I usually don't have a problem with stupid bitches. Hi, Roy. Uh, my name is Ryan, and I'm the owner of the car that you dinged earlier today. Uh, I just wanted to say that uh, don't worry about it. Oh, really? Uh, thank you for leaving your number. I um, appreciate that honesty. I'm not going to like get insurance involved or anything. It's, it's too small to like even make a claim. So I was just saying, don't worry about it. And uh, just really want to thank you for your honesty and then your phone number. All right, bye. Thank you for your honesty and your phone number. What's that supposed to mean? Hello? Hey, Ryan. Uh, speaking. It's Roy. Uh, I left a note on your car. Oh, hey, Roy. Hey. What's going on, man? Oh, not much. I just wanted to say I'm sorry about all that stuff, and uh, sorry I, I haven't been around for a week. I've been traveling. Yeah, it's all good, man. I just like uh, I just wanted to say thanks for like leaving a note in the first place because it's, it's nothing like too big. Like, <laughs> I don't know if you saw it, but it's right next to the other dent in my car. Yeah, well, no, this was inside the car on the dashboard. Oh, it was on the dashboard. Yeah, because I thought oh, I, didn't even... I thought your glove box opened up like uh, I thought the hinges were on the top for some reason, and uh, I got it all out of alignment. When I was opening up the glove box to get it, I was looking for a piece of paper in your glove box. Wait, was my car unlocked? Oh, no. No, I used the tool to, to open it up. Wait, so where, where did my car get actually hit? Oh, I, 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 by ding, I, I meant that I, I dinged the, the glove box, like the hinge and all that. I was trying to open it from the bottom. And it turns out you your hinge is on the top. Or no, your hinge is on the bottom. So it didn't open up that way. I feel s- kind of stupid. Uh, but I, I was just looking for a piece of paper to uh, write the note to apologize. Oh, okay. All right, well, yeah, no, it's, just, no, it's no problem. Okay, yeah. Well, while I was in there uh, trying to get a piece of paper, that, uh, you know, just kind of happened. I didn't mean to do it. Okay, yeah, no, you're you're fine. Okay. Uh, have a good day, man. Uh, don't tell me what to do, motherfucker. Excuse me? I said don't tell me what to do. I'll do what I want. Maybe I'm going to have a nice day. Maybe I'm going to have a mediocre day. It's none of your business. Okay, you do you, man. Oh, I will. Okay. Don't Don't you worry about it. Ryan. Okay. I'm sorry. Right, I'm, s- I'm sorry. I stole that piece of paper out of your car, as well to to leave the note. Okay. Bye. But I didn't really steal it because you know I left it on your windshield wiper. Okay. Bye. Bye. Uh, what? What? He? <laughs> You'll see what he's doing today. He doesn't want to chat. Ro- Roger. Hello? Roger. Roger, can you hear me? I'm in your backyard right now. I'm your neighbor. Hello? Roger. Roger. Roger, I hear you breathing. And I can hear your TV, but you're not saying anything. I left a note on your car. I'm returning your voicemail. 
Roger, turn down your TV. I think that's the problem. Hello? Roger? Alex? Roger? What'd that lady say, Alex? I heard a lady say Alex. Hello? Hello? Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Roger. I left a note. Okay, you know what? I got a call coming in. So if you want to talk about the note I left on your call, on your car, I mean, please call me back. I'm going to talk to these people. I'll, I'll leave you on the line. Just uh, turn, turn your TV down a little. Hello? Hello? Hi. Is this Roy? Yeah. Um, so... Okay, so I want you to explain to me again what happened. Uh, what was it? Like, what did I say before? Who are you? What do you mean? What did you say before? I don't know. This I, is the th person you you said you hit my car. I'm a very busy person, sir. Uh, are you? Yeah, I I just are you can't remember every single person I talked to and what I say well, to. I just them. talked to you five fucking minutes ago. Okay, well you know what? I've talked to three people since then. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. Well, well, very, very busy. You, you business said you got here. into my car and you. Yeah, that's great. That's great. You said you got into my car and that you, you, damaged my dash. Oh, with my spurs, yeah. With your spurs. Yes. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. That that some lady came uh, and said something to you, and then you just went silent and hung up on me. Oh, I was at the store, so. So what, what what color was my car? But but that is like what happened? What color was? That's fine. It doesn't matter what happened. What color but, is my car? But, like what? Did she tell you to hang up and you but, have to? But, 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 no, I was at the store. But what happened? To, what color is my car? Answer this, my question. What's the store have to do with anything? Like oh, I'm at the store. I better hang up on this person. That doesn't make sense. I think it has more to do with that girl. So were you the dude on the bike? Because I already got a camera. You're the dude on the bike, weren't you? When when I pulled up. Well, uh, how am I going to ride with the black? Yeah, no, how am I, 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 I going to ride a bike hey, cool. with, yeah, with hey, spurs hold on, me, on? Hold on, hold on. Stay on me on the phone. I need like thirty more seconds to gather your information and grab you uh, where you're located. Okay, uh, I'd like you to tell so. me exactly where I'm located as soon as it pops up for you there on your no, sophisticated. Okay. I don't need to tell you nothing. Machine. Oh, that's because you don't have a sophisticated tracing oh, machine because they don't have it so do you just do this to normal people just to fuck with them and call them and is this what you have is this how you have a good time buddy well no i'm not your buddy cowboy cowboy i'm not a cowboy buddy well, why you call me buddy i ain't your buddy why are you calling me cowboy i'll call you chief then chiefin are you call, dude i ain't calling what the fuck you want what do you what do you what, what, what's your angle here what's your game I don't have a game. I'm just letting you know about the note and everything. You know, I, I dinged yeah, your car. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, answer, answer what, what's, what color is my car? Um, what's that stupid bitch laughing about? Why'd you go kill yourself? Oh, that's not nice. You shouldn't say that to people. That's, that's you shouldn't not, not call cool. people a stupid bitch. Well, she's being a bit of a stupid bitch. You know, she's the kind of person oh, that goes around and tells people to kill themselves. Do it. She sounds like a well, bit of I mean, a stupid I, well, bitch. So, so what, what, what? I mean, I can do this all day, bro. Yeah, me too. I mean, like, I don't, yeah, I don't leave notes on people's fucking cars and and, and fucking try to, uh, you know, fucking uh, have them call and and, and get worried all about their shit. I was so just your, hiding. Your... I was just hiding. That's all. I had to hide. Bro, from you somewhere. were hiding from what, bro? Well, don't worry about it. It's none of your business. Don't worry about it. You're in my fucking car. What do you mean it's none of my fucking business? Well, if that's the case, uh -oh, why'd you hang up on me earlier? Why can't we just have this conversation before? Oh, because you were at the I supermarket. The I was at the store. Yeah, I, I had to hang up groceries. the phone because I'm in the store. I, I couldn't only... hear you, bud. I mean, I don't need to explain myself why I, why I hung up. I was at the store. So, I, ain't, I, mean... I, ain't, I ain't your bud, sheriff. <laughs> what do you What do you mean, bud? Maybe has a crush on you. Oh. He does sound pretty Obviously. sexy. Yeah, I am pretty sexy. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. That that stupid girl here. She's she's great with those quips. 
She's what? She's great with those quips, isn't she? Is that why you keep her around? Because she just says hilarious things like, maybe she has a crush on you. Hey, go kill yourself. Hey, man, it's better than Cowboy. I'll say that in Chieftain. Yeah, you got me there, didn't you? Oh, man. Damn. Okay, well, I love you. Hey, if I ever see you, I'm going to kiss you on the mouth. I'll I'll kiss you right back. Good. I'm going to use tongue. I'll I'll use even more. My tongue's longer than yours, so that's impossible. That's okay. I might like it. Okay. So. Have a nice oh, day. Yeah, you, fun now? you have your fun now? Yeah, yeah, I'm done with you. Yeah, okay. I actually Thanks. had another guy on the line while I was talking to you. Uh, he wasn't oh, talking to me thing? anymore. And, same uh, thing? You did the same thing to him? Yeah, yeah, I just left some silly note on his car. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what you do to people. Yeah, so you're the bald guy, right? You're the bald guy that was on the bike with the, uh, with the, uh, um, I'm not bald. My, I'm not bald. My hair is just thinning. Okay. It's just thinning. Your, your hair is just thinning. Yeah, I'm no. not bald. You look, look bald to me. No, no. That's just the way the sun was hitting my head. Oh. Uh, it's just, it's just thinning. You might want that's to, like, all. consider Bosley or something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, probably. Just, just all know, right. Well, you enjoy that girlfriend of yours. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So, I don't know. Should I just block that one at this point? I don't think I'm going to get any more hilarious messages from him. Oh, by the way, the the guy that was being silent in the background. I mean, he had his TV blaring, but he hung up about halfway through that call with that guy. So I guess I ruined any chance of him believing anything I say. Hey, Roy, my name is Alex. I just received a note on my uh, car door. Um, give me a call when you get a chance. I'm looking around. It doesn't look like uh, doesn't look like there's any damage. So hmm. just give me a call when you get a chance, and I'll... Uh... Every single one of these calls just sounds, these messages, they sound suspicious to me. And I know I always say that, and that's because they always are suspicious to me. But once again, I'm only calling to a certain area so far that has a lot of people calling me so i think they've got to be real right unless this guy's just having all of his friends pretend to be the carding victims i don't think so though roy this is glenn i had a note on my car sorry i dinged your car roy with this number uh, please give me a call 412 thank you okay he does not sound happy he seemed like he was lecturing me or something the way you make it seem is good. Hello. Hey, Glenn. Speaking. Uh, this is Roy. I'm returning your call. You, you left a message for me to call you back. Hello? Yeah, right. right. What? What? Hello, what? When, what, what? Yeah, when were you in the Detroit area last, Roy? When was I in the what area? Detroit area. Oh, I go through there all the time. Okay. I was actually there uh, just yesterday. This is from like a week ago. Yeah, yeah. it's like uh, September 8th, it looks like. I got your voicemail. Yeah, I was calling. Somebody left a note on my car with your name and number. Yeah, that was me. I left the note. Oh, okay. Um, I, I found a short in your uh, wiring harness when I was in there testing it. What are you talking about, Roy? Uh, your wiring harness, like, uh, you know, the all the wires that go around your car. I, I had a well, multimeter. Well, where do you work at? Where well, do no, you work at? Well, no, I don't. It, it's, it wasn't for work. I'm just kind of a hobbyist. But I, I bought a brand new multimeter, and I was picking it up while I was out. And uh, I think I left the packaging underneath your car. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to litter. But it's a brand new multimeter, no and I just wanted to try it out, and uh, I tried it on your car. Yeah, why would you, did, uh, where'd you try it at? Where was it at? Like all of it. Like I, I checked all around your fuse box and I got up yeah, under, wh- underneath, underneath the dash. I'm sorry, what? What, phys- what physical location are we talking about? I, this is like Detroit, I think, right? Because I was, um, I, I went to an Amazon, uh, one of those boxes and picked up all my, right. picked up my order for my brand new multimeter. Yeah. Now, I had a note on your car somewhere. It was in the Detroit area, but it wasn't had nothing to do with a multimeter. Oh, no. The, like, I just had my multimeter with me, and I was testing all your uh, wiring in your car. 
It was mostly good, but right. what, I pulled so on what, what, loca- what location? I don't know. It was a parking lot or something. I pulled on some of your wires, though, and now there's a short. Can you what, t- can you tell that what, lady? What, what parking? Can you tell that lady to shut up, please? No, you fucking shut up. Well, don't ever say that. Well, no, she was just like, why, why is she buttoning our conversation like that? What the fuck are you talking about? You leave a note on my car? It has nothing to do with a wiring harness. Yeah, I'm well, trying to figure out what's your, what's your scam. Well, no, that's what I mean by ding. Like I, I was testing the wiring in your car, and I. Pulled... Why would you possibly be? T- why would you possibly be touching my car? Who asked you okay. to do that? Well, no, I was just excited about my multimeter, so I was testing out wiring. And st- can you tell what, her? What to are, sh- you, are you? Are you nuts? No. Why would you ask that? I think you are. I think your wife. You, know, you I must think, literally be insane. Yeah, I think your wife is fucking loud. Tell her to shut the fuck up. Now, fuck you. Hey, Roy. What? If I ever get to see you again, I'm gonna so fuck you over again. You better pray to God. What do you mean again? You I've, I've never seen you before. I just left you a note. <laughs> hey, don't, hey, Roy. Go. Hey, don't. I tell you, don't here, let your wife boss you around fuck. like that. Say, honey, Roy, go, I'll hang up when go I'm good fuck and ready. Yourself. Nah, hanging up on you now, motherfucker. Go fuck yourself. Okay. She just could not shut up, could she? I got this idea from Gardner Earth Guy, I think on YouTube. It says, I found a short in your wiring harness when I was testing it. I thought that sounded funny, so that was his idea. I just added the part about being excited about my brand new multimeter. Man, there are so many more ding calls, you guys. Like, so many. And... It's cool that, like, I, you know, I've started back uh, over a week ago instead of doing the brand new ones, and nobody's calling me out. Like, uh, I mean, that guy thought it was some sort of a scam, wanting to know what my angle was or whatever, but people don't seem to be figuring it out otherwise. Something strange is going on here. Hi, uh, my name's Philip. I'm the owner of the Ford Ranger. Um, give me a call back. All right, thanks. Bye. Oh, that's what I need to call people. I need to call them Rangers. Ain't your bud, Ranger. That'll get him good. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. Okay, Philip's not picking up, but I'm getting another call, and I don't know who it's from. Hello? Hey, is this Roy? Yeah. Hey, this is, uh, my name's Alex, actually. You're the one who left the note on my car at the Five Guys parking lot. Yeah. Finally got a hold of you. Yeah, I was testing out. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see anything. I was testing out my new multimeter. Um, I, I uh, was checking all your wiring harnesses, like, under the dash, and uh, the ones that go to the brake lights, you know, all the back lights. I was just, you know, excited about my new multimeter, so I got in there and I was just checking all your wiring is what I was doing. Wait, you mean from outside the car? Yeah, well, f- originally from outside the car, because uh, I got an, I opened, I popped your hood, and uh, you know there's a fuse box in there, and I was checking all that wiring and the stuff to the battery. But then I got inside and I just started checking all the wires, like a madman, you know, like I don't know, I I just got a new multimeter. I wanted to see how well it worked, and it is really good. It's the one that uh, Technology Connections recommends so, on YouTube. YouTube. Oh, so I had the I had the blue fuse in the parking lot, correct? Um, the what? The Ford Ranger, I it thought. Was, uh, oh, then it must have been a different car. I uh, I had the message on my car. That I accidentally dinked your car. That's the message I had on my car. Yeah, that's what I left on your car. I, I thought you had a Ford Ranger. No, I had a the blue fusion. Oh, weird, because your uh, voicemail message says you're the owner of the Ford Ranger. Oh, wait, no, that was that, that was Philip. Silly me. Yeah, I was the no, one with the blue fuse. No, like, I, the Ford Ranger, that's the one. I, I messed up his dash with my uh, spurs. Yeah, that that was a different oh, guy. Oh, you in a different car in the parking lot? Okay. Yeah, no, I was in your car testing all the wiring. But then I start, I start getting chased. Uh, it's a long story. But um, yeah, I, you I was. Were in, no, my car was locked the whole day. You must have been in someone else's car. Oh no, I carry tools with me. I have a tool that'll unlock cars that are locked. So I got in there. I, I I didn't do anything wrong. I was just I was just testing all the wiring, and I, I yanked on some wires, uh, like uh, right up uh, behind your seat, 
next to the seat belt. There's some wires that come down there. And I yanked on those. And they, it seemed like they had a short in them after that. Because I yanked on them really hard. Yeah, you definitely have the wrong number. Oh, how's that? I it's, was... Uh, like, it, yeah, it, I, I was... Uh, uh, I, I had a note left on my car with this number saying I accidentally door dinged your car. I was never, you know, my car was locked. You must have been inside of a yeah. truck or something. Well, no. My car was locked. No. I was at work. Ah, uh, no. See, that's when I dinged it. So like, when I opened your so door, you, I used a tool, and it you, scraped right along. You the, went in my car then? Yeah, I got in there because I'd already opened up the, the hood, and I was just testing all the wiring in there for free. You know, I, I wasn't, I wasn't going to charge you. No, I... The I was blue just, fusion with the stripe on it, correct? Yeah, that's the one. It had the stripe. But yeah, I was just So you I, you went you you went in inside of my car. Yeah, if you, I'm hearing you correctly. You can see the to, where the tool left a mark on uh just uh right along the side of your door. Uh you know, the the, the one that I opened the driver's side door cuz I used a, a special tool to open the door. Oh, okay. Here, I'm actually pulling up to my car right now. Give me one second. It's like a, it's I like a locksmith a tool. Yeah, it's like a locksmith tool. So like, you used a locksmith tool to get into my car while I was at work? Yes, and I, I was uh, just checking out your wiring. That's all. I checked all the wires, like all the brake light wires. You know, I just test them all for uh, to, just to make sure they're all they all have good connections. What store did you go in from? I wasn't in a store. I, I just it was at your car. Cause well, I, I, in the, the door, did you get in through the uh, the passenger door, the driver door? Oh, it was the driver door. Yeah, I I it just picked up door? I just picked up my new multimeter. Uh, I've never had one like quite this fancy before, and I was just excited to use it. So I got in your car and started testing everything. I think you, there's no way you got into my car with a with a tool like that. I mean, I'm I'm hearing that I was at work and you you purposely broke into my car. That's correct. Yeah. Well, you're making it sound like I'm a thief. I, I didn't steal anything. You you you. Let me let me get this. Straight. I did use a piece of paper went, I found in your car to to write down measurements and stuff, but I didn't steal it. it it's still in there. Uh, I'm not seeing any marks, so I definitely don't think you got into my car because I'm not seeing any marks. I don't know where the mark would okay, be. Okay, well, I don't see it. how I could have left the note on the wrong car. Yeah, you left the note on my door handle, correct? Yeah. Yeah, how could it be the wrong yeah, one? I'm, yeah, it's definitely not mine. I've got my uh, mechanic here. He's looking at it, and he doesn't see any damage on it. Does your mechanic just hang out with you? Yeah, yeah, I was already here. So, oh, weird. Are, are you like a mechanic? Yeah, so it was the it was the did the did the uh, did the blue fusion have carbon fiber on the uh, on the door panels? Oh fuck if I know. Like I don't I don't even know what that is. Sounds, you have a picture of it? Sounds fancy though. No, I didn't take any pictures of your car. I just wrote down those measurements on that piece of paper, and everything was working fine until I yanked on that wiring harness really hard. And and then your brake lights wouldn't what, even which, turn on. Which wiring harness are you talking about? Uh, is one it, you know they go from the back to the front. It, it was like kind of behind your seat, and I was yanking on it real hard. Behind my seat. Yeah, because I, I, and... I had to remove some the plastic stuff that goes around the seat belt, and I was yanking on that wiring harness real hard. It goes around the seat belt. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, no, the the plastic harness around the seatbelt has not been taken off. Yeah, so. well, I finally got it to work again. I just, I shoved the wiring harness back in there and just wiggled the wires until your brake lights started coming on again. And then, then uh, all my readings were turning out fine after that. So I don't think I really shorted anything out. Okay, well, my brake lights were working before I went into work, and they're working now. Yeah, so. that's what I'm saying. Everything's fine. I was just worried about that scratch I left. Uh, it's like parallel to the edge of the door. Maybe, maybe it just showed up more when the sun was out. Was it? Uh, what did the interior of the car look like? Do you remember? Uh, no, I was pretty much focused on the all the wiring stuff. I was underneath your dash, just getting into all the wires and stuff. 
and then uh, I opened up all of your doors and you know the wires that run from the car to into the door for your mirrors and windows and locks and all that stuff. I was testing all that stuff. And it was a it was a truck. Um, no, I don't think so. It was like that blue striped car, fusion thing. I'm sorry, you know, like I was just uh I was just excited about my multimeter. Gave it a full field test right there inside your car. Okay, and and why um why so I had no prior, you know, oh, can I have this person look at my car or this or that? I had never told anyone to go look at my car and and Yeah, you no, went you, in and you didn't ask my car. for it. I, I just I was just excited to try it out and uh, you know, you're well, you had one of those cars that can be opened with my special locksmithing tool. Okay, so what uh, what was inside the car that you saw? It was it was a Ford, correct? A Ford? No, that was the other car with the spurs. That was a Ford Ranger. That's not yours. I was I didn't mean to say that no. that that one was yours. Calm down. Mine's the Ford Fusion. Yeah, this is a Ford Ranger. Um, but yeah, yours is the Ford Fusion. That's the one that I checked all the wiring harness stuff on. I had to YouTube it and um, you know find out where some of the wires were. But I did a. How long did it take you? Oh, I don't know, like uh, not quite an hour. I was just checking. Do you the remember wi- where it was parked? Check, checking the wiring. This is, this is a parking space. I don't remember the, a lot of details or anything though, because I, I went out and. Tested a bunch of other stuff too. What did you see the wires down by the pedals? Yeah, yeah, there's lots of wires down there. They're kind of up above the pedals. I untaped them. Yeah, up above so, the pedals. Yeah, I, I untaped some of them. Like they had tape wrapped around them. I, I just was trying to uh, trace the wiring connections and see where they they all went to. Yeah, sure. Give me a second. Let me go look at this. Oh no, they still look fine. I'm gonna get under here. Yeah. Did you? Which ones did you untape? Did you? Did you put a zip tie on them? Um. Well, it's better than tape. It's like a little bit stronger. It'll probably last longer. Did you? Did you put a zip tie on these? Well, it's a professional zip tie. You know, it's it's a. Uh, I don't. Do, what do you call those? Not zip ties, but uh, maybe they are zip ties. You know, it's a nicer one though. Is it? Did, it wasn't tape. You put you put a zip tie on it, but you did take all the tape off that was previously there, and you went in here and well, there's, and wired a ton of stuff up. There was no, I didn't, I didn't change any of the wiring. Uh, there was just some tape on there, and it was in the way, and I was trying to uh, trace where the wires go to. And then when I was done, I just pulled some zip ties out of my pocket and uh, tape. You know, did you have to go? So you went under my dash, under my uh, steering wheel, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and under there's some stuff behind your glove box, and I can't remember where the stuff fuse box. I can't remember where the fuse box was, but uh, I I checked all those connections too, both the internal fuse box and the one in the engine. And did you have to take off the uh, plastic cover down by the left side of my? Uh... Hey, is it got locks in it or something? What is it? Are you are you a locksmith by any chance? Oh, no, no, no. I just, uh, you, you can get on eBay and buy any kind of locksmithing equipment. Oh, okay. So I was, at, so, so I'm just trying to get this story straight. Did you get in my dash at all, like back behind my radio or no? Oh, yeah. Well, not behind the radio. I didn't have time to uh, take the dash off and do all that stuff. And did you, did you go under my, uh, under my uh, back seat, you said? I didn't say that, but yeah, I did. I was just, okay. I was just going to where the connections are, and I was testing the connections. Did you go? And if there wasn't any connection, you, I would just take a pocket knife and I would just uh, strip the insulation off the wires and hook up to it that way. Okay. No Let big me. Deal. Uh, can you receive? Can you receive pictures on your phone or no? Yes. Okay, let me uh 
let me uh, send you a picture of the car and see if it was the right car. Cause I'm looking under my dash and everything. And it's the one with that stripe, uh, that yeah. fusion. I know the fusions because uh, those are easy, uh, especially easy to open. Mm hmm. And did I mean, that's all you did was under that and everything? Yeah, I was just checking all the wiring out. I, I unplugged a lot of stuff and then plugged it all back in. Just how it was. Except okay, and did you take off my, uh, uh, under my steering wheel? Did you ever move that around at all? My steering wheel, my plastic cover? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, no, I didn't get into the steering wheel. Um, Dude, let me send you a picture of the car here. Okay. Um, well, it's, nothing's wrong with it, though, really, right? It's, it's, you, you said you can't even see that no, scrape. No, Maybe just, it healed just, itself up. I'm, I remember it, uh, the morning after, it was dead when I woke up. Oh, really? Hmm. That, mm -hmm. might, that might have been one of those uh, wires where I s stripped off a bit of the insulation and maybe maybe it maybe it uh, touched something it shouldn't. Oops. No, you're fine. Let me just uh, what, let me go that? ahead here and find. Hold on, I had your number in here. It's on your caller ID. Oh wait, yeah, no, you're calling me. Uh, yeah, here, give me one second. Let me. Uh, nine one three. So you you. Yeah, nine one three seven two one six six seven zero. Correct. I'm yeah. gonna send you a picture of the car right now, and you tell me if this is the right car. All right. Okay. Yeah, it should deliver here soon enough. I'm sure it's it the right a black one, though. Stripe on it? It's got to be the right one. Yeah, I had the stripe. Cause uh, it's the it one I the, left the see, note on. Did you see the picture? Um. Yeah. Well, no, I didn't see. Yeah, yet. Uh oh, there it is. Sent an image. Yeah, there it is. It's got the stripe on it and everything. Okay, so, so I'm just trying to get this straight. You you went into my car. That's a cute diamond on the all front. My wiring. Yeah, you have a and diamond you went under my car and un you unplugged wires for what reason? Oh, uh, I, I was test I was testing everything. I was just making sure my multimeter worked. Yeah, but why? Just uh, you know, just just checking. Just uh, it's a brand new multimeter. I paid like sixty dollars for it. Hey, tell that bitch in the background to shut the fuck up and stop saying the bullshit word. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm on the phone with him. Hold on, hold on. I just want to know because I'm because I'm under the car right now. Don't listen to that manager. You don't listen I, to the manager. I do don't, notice that don't someone to did the, go in my car. Don't listen to the manager. Huh? I don't, you said something about not listening to the manager. No, yeah, don't don't listen to them. I'm just I'm just trying to figure out. Are you bullshitting, bro? He's bullshitting. With hey, you put ass. him on the phone. I'll, I'll I'll kick his ass if he wants to meet me somewhere. I'll take care. Of where you at, bro? What you trying to do, cuz? Hey, don't worry about where I'm at. Exactly. But, keep your mouth shut, bro. You know what? I'll pull up to you, bro. You, you want you want to meet me over at the Walmart? I'll meet you over at the Walmart, motherfucker. Walmart. No Walmart. Hey, tell that ugly girl okay. to shut up, please. Did you, did you, tell, tell that ugly girl just to on, shut the you, fuck up. Did you, did you, did you, um, end up going into Five Guys that one day? Uh, I'm no, no, I don't eat stuff like that. No, so you just, you just went in my car and cared I was just about your day, going through the parking lot, you know? Yeah, just cutting through, and I'm like, oh, perfect car to test out my multimeter on. So you intentionally just went into my car and helped yourself? Yes, but I didn't hurt anything. Well, except uh, I just, I just, I just want to let you know mm -hmm. that 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 is considered theft. Oh no, I didn't steal anything. Going, going into someone's car and unlocking the car and coming out of the car that is considered theft. I just want you to be aware of that. Um, no, I think you're wrong because I didn't steal anything out of your car. Well, I mean, I, I did steal some uh, some of the insulation off of the wires as I scraped it with my knife because I didn't want to leave a mess in your car, so I put those in my pocket. But that was just to be nice. What what insulation did you take off? Uh, off of just random wires. Like if there was no um, ready available, uh, you know, like little plug or whatever that I could touch my multimeter to, I would just scrape off a little bit of insulation 
and and that way I could you, touch my there, mold. Were there a star? Were there stars on the light in the ceiling inside the car? Do you remember? Did it have like one of those Rolls Royce headliners inside or no? Oh, I don't know. I noticed you have this diamond on the hood, though. The diamond on the hood? Yeah, like right in the front, because you sent me this picture. I didn't see that the other day when I was mm-hmm. at Five Guys. Oh, it it was there. Yeah, yeah, it was already there. Oh, so see, this this was in Midtown Square in front of Five Guys, correct? You're, you're That's not where taking you're, telling me this you're, you're not taking credit for the diamond because it looks stupid. Oh, uh, I see what's going on here. What? Who who set you up to who set you up to do this? No, but, nobody know. set me up for anything. I was just checking the wiring. Calm down. You know, okay, I, would I, you I, be able to? I did the right thing by leaving a note, and then you got that guy over there saying he wants to kick my ass when he couldn't even kick my ass. He he probably he'd probably pull out a gun yeah, like I a, feel like okay. He'd probably pull out a gun like a pussy. Okay, yeah. Um, you you said your name was Roy, and I feel like this is definitely not. I I can I can. Okay. Is Where? there any like evidence you left that you were in here or no? Did you go in the hood? Did you take off my cap? Before? No, I, my, I, uh... why, why would I mess up your car? I, I'm not trying to mess up anyone's car. I was just checking out my new multimeter. You don't have any evidence that you were in the car? No video, nothing? No, I wasn't taking, I wasn't making a video. I was just doing it for myself. Can you tell that ugly girl to stop talking, please? I Okay, so obviously it seems like someone has set you up to sort of, I would say, prank me. I don't know who it was and why. Okay, well, that's a weird um, thing to assume because I am not pranking you. I, I am just returning your call because I left a note after I checked all your wiring, but... It sounds like you can't even see that scrape that I left uh, when I used my locksmith tool on your door. So why are we even talking? Why don't we just hang up? Okay, I I just uh, I just don't think you actually went in my car. Oh, I, I, I was definitely it. in there. I, I'm kind of like a boy scout. I leave no trace. That's why I picked up all the insulation from those wires that I... Uh, you know, knife the insulation off. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome. All right. Well, I, 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 um, I, I don't, I don't appreciate it at all. Oh, I'm going to go what? ahead and try to get video, video footage of you going into my car. And if I do, okay. uh, I will completely take legal action. You will, you will go to jail. Hey, what did that guy understand? What did that guy say that I sounded I like? Said, Do you understand? Oh no, I was asking a question. What did that guy say that I sounded like? A bitch. Oh no, no, you're the pussy. You won't even meet me at the Walmart, oh, motherfucker. No, I'll give him an address. Give me pull up. Give him an Hey, don't listen right. to that. Don't listen Let's to that girl. Happens. Don't don't do what she says. Say, say, say look, right. look I'll, here. I'm, I'm a out. man. I do what I want. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know one thing, lady. I'm gonna let you know one thing. If you, I, I promise you, if you actually went into my car and I prove that you went into my car, you are fucked. I promise you. Couldn't you just prove it by like our I, conversation? I promise you. Okay, I think it's weird that you you think I'd lie about all this. The fact that you you even think that that is remotely okay if it happens, you are one of the most idiotic people ever. I'm sorry. You you, do, you you went into someone's car that you don't know because you wanted to test fucking wires. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah, f- complete test of the electrical system. You're welcome. Everything works fine, except where I was right, pulling on the, another the phone, harness. What kind of phone do you have? What kind of phone do you have? Why? Are you going to make fun of my Android? You, you have an Android. Okay. And this is your number? Well, I, I could have said you're going to make fun of my iPhone because you're an Android guy. I wasn't admitting what phone I had either way. All right, I, I, there's I'll, I'll put money that they they got cameras out there 
and I know exactly what time I mm-hmm. was working. So I'm going to go pull the footage. You work at Five Guys? I see you out there. Of course I do. Oh, okay. I thought you were just eating in there for a really long time. I was like, wow, this guy should have Mm-mm. come out here and noticed me by now. But I, I just had full reign of your car for like the longest time. Okay, do you do you want to meet somewhere? Uh, I'll meet you that I'll, me? I'll meet that pussy like that thinks he can kick my ass. No, you you want to you want to meet me so you can show me what you did? Uh, no, no, you guys are pretty aggressive over there, and uh, I, I don't feel comfortable meeting you. You know, all I did was like leave a nice note, and here, here okay, you are uh, making I'm threats, you, threats I'm, to my I'm, life. I'm gonna tell you one thing. Okay, I'm gonna tell you one thing. You tell me. Cowboy. Do not ever pull up to my work again. Understand? Oh, I, I can go to Five Guys if I want to. It's kind of like a public place. I'm gonna. You, you don't want to set foot in there. I promise you. Why if not? If I'm there. Why? Don't do it. No, I, don't do it. You will be in trouble. I will call the cops immediately. Oh no! I've you. I've been in there before. Like I never got the cops called on me. Immediately. You don't even know what I look like. I promise you. You don't know what I look like. I've been in there before. I hacked your soda machine. Okay, sure you did. No, I I did. Like not a hack hack, but you know, like you can touch that little corner of the screen and and the window pops up, and then you can start fucking with the flavors. Okay, what was your last name? You're uh, asking that as if I told you before. You did not tell me before. No. Oh. So, what is it? What's what that bitch say? Okay, so obviously you don't have a last name. So you're obviously pranking me, which is complete bullshit. Yeah, yeah, it must just be a prank. <laughs> yeah, sure. I don't know who set you up to this. Whether it was someone I know from high school or whether it's someone I know now that's just trying to fuck with me. But bad idea to do that. Just to let you know. Why is it a bad idea? Are you gonna kick my ass? Because they're trying. Because they're trying to fuck with me. Yeah, but it's a bad idea to you. Because you're the butt of the joke, but you know to everybody else it'd be funny. Am I? But 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 who? But who was it? If what it, was their name? No, that, no, it's up. not. It's not even a joke. I was just testing out my multimeter. I'm just saying, if it were a joke, be a it, st- it stupid feels joke. Like a joke. Okay, you know what? You feel like a joke. If I, if I ever see you I'm in sure person, motherfucker, I'm gonna kiss you on the mouth. Oh. Uh. That's awesome. I am. No, I'm serious. I'm going to kiss you with a bun- with, with tongue and everything. What city do you live in? What city do you live in? I'm not going to tell you things about myself. All right. I'll see you later. Okay. I Good love you. I'm going to come there for lunch tomorrow to Five Guys. Are you working? Hello? All right. That's the end of that call. I found another picture while I was uh, looking at pictures of this guy's car and they sent me a picture of the note i left them like what's the point of that thanks for that idea gardner earth guy i like that one testing their wiring i don't understand how people can know they're being pranked but still get that pissed like pissed enough to tell me they're gonna have me thrown out of five guys if i show up hi my name's olivia um i'm a student who you left a note on my car yesterday afternoon Um, It's Friday evening, and so whenever you're free, you can give me a call at right. Okay. All right. Talk to you later. We're up to September 8th now. I think I started on September 7th, so there there are a lot of carding calls coming in, everybody. I appreciate you all leaving notes. And since we got such a late start this month, probably these are going to go a little bit into October. Hello. Please leave a message after the tone. Olivia, it's Roy. Um, I'm returning your call. Are you there? Uh, hello. Oh, hello, Olivia. No, this is your mom. Um, oh, okay. Hold, I'm second, and I'll go get her. Okay. Did you text her? What'd she say? She's coming. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Okay. Okay. She's here. We have you on speaker, if that's okay. Okay. A little weird, but so um, this is mom, and um, we were just you know wondering. Um, you shouldn't call yourself mom. Come on, you have an identity. It's it's not all about Olivia. <laughs> At any 
rate, um, how did you want to proceed with this? It's like a, it is a scratch all the way down the side of a car. All yeah. The way down the car. Yeah, I was um, I, I was uh, arguing with a friend about uh, the Titanic, and I had to prove my point. So I used her car as kind of like to represent the iceberg, and I showed her how the Titanic just kind of scraped all along down the side. And um, I guess I wasn't thinking. I mean, the important yeah. the important part is that I won the argument. <laughs> um, well, I don't know if that can just be just buffed out. Oh, maybe. It might just be buffed out. I didn't even think it'd leave a mark. I was just using a butter knife. <laughs> but it's got those ridges on it. So, um, did you... How do you feel about maybe... Um, handling it outside of insurance oh sure yeah i could do that well the thing is though i don't was there actually any damage because i checked my fitbit records and it, it tells you oh gosh a call's coming in i gotta put that on hold yeah um my fitbit records uh show that i was asleep at that time that i thought that happened so i, I only dinged olivia's car in my dream So, did you want to, um, here, I'm going to let you talk to my husband. Here you go. Okay. Wait, is Olivia even real? Because like, I didn't, oh, okay. Yeah. Hi, Olivia. Hi. I just dinged my car in your dream, though. So, I guess I'm apologizing for that. Well, it's possible the car could be buffed out. We don't know. So, yeah. if the, the scratch goes down the entire side of the car from front to back. Yeah, that's because I was explaining. Um, have you ever uh, researched the Titanic and seen how it just scrapes all along the side? No. Oh, so, yeah, I was I was um, using your car as an example to my friend in my dream that uh, your car was the iceberg, and that's how you know it scraped all the way down as the ship came by because it was going too fast. But that was just a dream, so I, ding I dinged your car in my dream. Well, are you still there? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Hi. Well, um, I don't know how uh, a physical scrape <laughs> can happen in a, you know, that it, it, it really happened, though, okay? Have you ever I seen, mean, have you ever seen um, Nightmare on Elm Street? Yeah. Yeah, they can make stuff happen from their dreams, like just well, all willy-nilly. I, I don't, what, what happened though in reality is you 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 really hit the car. Well, okay? I think this could have been somebody else doing this cuz I checked my Fitbit records and I was definitely asleep at the time. I also talked to my friend and he said well, we, how, how we did never had a note get there. We, Why did you write a note then? We never had that argument about the Titanic. Well, no, 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 no. You wrote a note and put it on the car, sir. Um, and saying that I'm sorry, I hit your car. So you that that wasn't a dream. But my Fitbit would show yeah, it if if I was like writing on it and your phone number. That's not a dream, okay, <sighs> sir. That is not a dream, sir. Sir, just a, a few uh, years ago, I had sex with a gypsy, and ever since nah, then, a lot of I'm weird stuff's go been there. going on. I don't, I don't want to go there, sir. Um, well, no, we, I'm just explaining. There are, there's videotape too, sir. That's not a dream. There's videotape from Oakland University. Wait, are you telling me that Oakland University still uses like VHS? Yes, they do. It's VH, on there. VHS tapes? It's on there. Like, I would think they'd have gone digital by now so they could have. No, don't you know, give me that. They well, no, have they, it they, there. They, and, they would have, um, sir, you don't understand. Like well, The videotape would be virtually useless because... It doesn't have a 2K video. You can't record 2K or 4K video to videotape. No, what? Do you want to handle it outside the insurance company, in other words? Um, well, what, we what have you, the information. What sir. do you want from me, then? Well, we want the car fixed. Oh, I can fix the car. I know how to buff out cars. Oh, no, no. Hey, can, no. I, can Olivia, do you know how to drive a stick? Maybe we can swap cars for no, a week. No, we aren't going to swap cars. Why not? That like way that. I could take it home and buff it out. I could also test her uh, wiring harnesses, if you know what I mean. Okay. No, we aren't going to go to that place, sir. Uh, well, no, here's what it is in a nutshell. You wrote down the information. 
the, uh, the cameras did- were on the light poles. They saw the car that was hit. And they still use videotape at a university? Well, they have it on there. They charge so much for tuition. It's on whatever they have, sir. I'm not going to argue with that. I'm just saying they they charge so much for tuition. Police have the information, too. So I don't know what you want me to do or what you're going to do. This is not a dream. Um, Wait, that's the only thing that makes sense. This would have to be a dream because how would the note get on Olivia's car? Yeah, it's not a dream. <sighs> you okay. Wrote the we have the right. No, don't want to do it outside insurance. Okay, uh, you don't want to do it outside insurance. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. Um. Okay. I I gotta come clean. Uh. I'm I'm a a uh, a friend of a friend of Olivia's, and this is my initiation in, into the lambda lambda lambda. Um. Fratern- fraternity. No. Here, here at the university. No, we aren't going to deal with that part. Of it. Well, well, no, like, uh, the, the fact that I, I left the note and I did scratch up the side of it, um, that, that means I'm probably going to get into Lambda, Lambda, Lambda. Is, is Olivia one of the Omega Moves? Sir? We got your number. I, I know I left it on the note. <laughs> I wasn't calling her fat. I just said she's an Omega Moo. That's all. Jeez. So Steven left the idea, uh, I think, on YouTube. Oh, wait, no. That was on uh, Patreon. Steven left the idea about the Titanic and had an argument with a friend. And to prove a point, I used the recipient's car to represent the iceberg. But the important thing is that I won the argument. And then Bread Sandwich, also on Patreon, says, I dinged your car in my dream. I used that idea. And I feel like, didn't I le- Oh, yeah. The, the, the guy named P.S on patreon he says the ding notes are just a prank for your initiation into lambda 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 or carol's initiation in, into the omega moos those are fraternities from revenge of the nerds if you've never seen that movie before i've been doing this now for exactly two hours making these calls and i think that's where i'm gonna quit that's usually where i quit for prank calls even though 20 minutes of that is that guy that sent me the picture of his car Oh my god, I, I need to cut that one down. But yeah, anyway, uh, I have like so many dings left, so many voicemails, and a lot of them are from that same area that I, the only area that I called today. So holy crap, these are mostly real numbers and not just listeners trying to trick me, although I'm sure there's a few of those in there. So that's my excuse for ending the show right now. I'm going to go edit all this stuff together, cut it way down from two hours, And then we're going to hear some voicemails, which is pretty much right now. But uh, I'm probably going to do extra shows this week, both hobo sods and snowplow shows, which is a good thing because that'll help me catch up from the couple of weeks that I didn't do a show. So what I'm saying is just expect more shows this coming week because I have a lot of calls to make. All right, voicemail time. Hey, Brad. It's Steve from Tennessee. Hey, Steve. Um, I'm currently broke down in my truck right now. Um, I started listening to snowplow show maybe a month ago um i started in the 500s now i'm on 644 um that's cheating hear this voicemail in the future love the show you can't cheat uh, keep doing your thing see you later bye that's great glad you found the show hope your truck gets better hey bratty poo it's brown Teresa calling hey. from a brand new number i'm grabbing my crotch as i say that I don't know why. Of course you um, But I really like when you call people the MFers. You're like, hey, motherfucker. And I also love when you call sirs, ma'am. Keep doing that. And they're like, I'm not okay. a ma'am. I'm a sir. I'm not allowed to do that anymore. I'm going to get canceled. Um, that cracks the hell up out of me. I'm in pieces right now. Uh, keep okay. doing you, bratty poo. Love you, buddy. Say it backwards. So weird. <laughs> no, you can't make me. You're making it weird. Hey, Brad. I'm the first here from Montreal. Hey. First time, long time. Uh-huh. I had an idea for Dingtember. Okay. You could tell him that... Can't you just email me You were me sitting ideas. on the car while you were taking a selfie. I love ideas in the comments of YouTube, by the way. I usually read all of the YouTube comments. So leave ideas there. Because you needed um, 
you were pretending it was their car yeah. for a dating website profile. Oh, yeah. And at the an, time, you were wearing a fanny pack. They have a nicer and car. an enamel pin on it. Mm. And you got kind of nicked the hood. Oh, no. I know where this is I going. I was just on the phone. You could tell them that. Oh, crap. Here. Your 30 seconds is up. It worked. I like the idea, though. I will do that. I will take my Sears portrait on their car. Hey, Brad. Will Ashville here. Going to make this hey. one quick. Still hiking through the old archive here, listening to some great shows. Mm -hmm. I just wanted you to play the outro song you played on the uh, September 24th, 2015 show, the 24th day of Ding Timber. You play an outro song that is a, it's like an RBCP rap, and I've never heard it before. Okay. Bring it back just just one time. Okay. All right. Love you, Brad. What is it? What is it? Man, now I got to listen to an old show now. I'm trying to do the voicemails. Why are you making me do work? I just want to say, you know, I'm really sad. Do you know what day it is? No. It's Seven Eleven day. And last year, I didn't oh. get my damn Slurpee. You got to remember, it's 7-Eleven day. You fill it all up in your your big trash can and get a giant Slurpee. All right, yeah. everybody remember that for next year. All right, bye. I think you left this message on 9-11. That's 9-11. You're thinking of 7-Eleven. You gotta do that on 9-11. Yo, it's Shang. I'm from Illinois. Hey. I just wanted to tell you, uh, Roy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brad. Yeah. Uh, Steve Gate. Hurry uh, the fuck up. Whoever the hell you are, you're fucking awesome. Oh, Later. Thank you. No, you're fucking awesome. There, got him. Hey, Brad. I've been listening to you for a little while. My name is Shane. Hey. I am from Illinois. Wait, is this the same one? And I really like your stuff. Okay. Daddy, can you get off the phone, please? What stuff? All right, love you guys. Bye. That was weird. I didn't like that. Hey, Brad. It's Crimson. Hey, Crimson. So I know it's been said before, but yeah, you know, that sound quality on those uh, podcasts where you were on the road, it was like weirdly good. It, like so good that I'm not even sure if it would be like great to switch over to that format. Permanently because it just doesn't have that phone quality to it, you know, that look, you, you know, like yeah. looking over a landline phone or something. Yeah. Anyway, um, so how exactly did you record that again? I, I I couldn't get the details every time you talked about it. I didn't understand how no, you just... were recording. What was it? How did you do that? And then, uh, second note, uh, if you're driving across the country, Brad, come to North Carolina. I didn't go quite that far across the country. I'm all the way on the other side. I only went to the Midwest. And Brad, I know you've been talking about your two-star hotels. Mm -hmm. If you come to North Carolina, Brad, here, here's your offer. I'll give you a three-star hotel. That's right. I'll Holy shit. Well, okay, bye. You asked how I recorded the show on the road. Earlier this year, I got a Zoom pod track P4. That's what it's called. Just look at that on Amazon, and, and you can see what a Zoom pod track P4 looks like. It's just like a little mixer, and it lets you plug your cell phone directly into it with a wire or by Bluetooth if you buy an extra accessory thing. And you can hook up real microphones to it that sound good. I use the same one that I use in my studio. And yeah, I highly recommend those if you need to do portable podcasting stuff, which I do sometimes. I've done pranks in the woods and at the beach. Hey, bro, hey, it's next door Nick. Hey. And I've been going through... Why are you hollering at me? What's up with that? I upon Hobo Sode 80. I was wondering... Calm down. Because you mentioned on that Hobo Sode, they're going to compile all of the Lunk Alarm pranks together, including Carlito and... Uh, yeah. And Weiss and everybody else's. I was wondering if you did that already in a, um, you know, Dabalina show, no. or you have... Yet I think I tried, but... I couldn't find every lung alarm call, and then I found other ones since then, which I, I always try to play those somewhere, so probably on a Dabalina show. Do that. The one I'll listen to all of them. Bye. I'm sorry, Next Door Nick. I'm all talk. I always say I'm going to do stuff like this, then I never do. You'll get used to it. By the way, nice meeting you this past weekend at the meetup. I got to meet Next Door Nick, everybody. Can you believe it? Yeah, this is old Orbs from Kansas. Hey. I just was wondering, is your refrigerator running? Why, yes, it is. You better catch it. I don't get it. 
Hey Brad, this is Benny from Ohio. I just hey. wanted to let you know. Oh, well, I wanted to formally apologize for leaving a unconvincing fake voicemail on the Dingtober voicemail. I no have been leaving problem. notes. Uh, it's, it's quite the rush. It's fun, but uh, I've been just kind of sitting back, seeing if people react, and nobody has even noticed the notes. It's kind of funny. No, they just drive notice. off. So. I hope they notice them when they get I've gotten home. notes on my windshield before, and I've noticed them while I'm driving because it's more noticeable in there once um, you're going. And, uh, I loved your I loved your videos, Mister 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 Carter. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. One last voicemail. All right. Hey, Lucky boy here. Hey there. So yeah, I'm just leaving out of uh, two star hotel uh, after listening to you do a show about it from a two star hotel. Oh, it would be pretty cool if I just bumped into you on the elevator and we're in the same two-star hotel and like just start singing one of your songs or whatever and then kind of give you a wink just so you know, hey. That'd be great. You know what I mean? Yeah. But anyway. I would love my that. My question was, I've been, uh, you know, I do a lot of TikTok and stuff and I've been uh, seeing without searching PLA, a lot of your phone calls are on TikTok. I just wanted to make sure, is that someone that was uploading your shit? Yeah. Uh, or is that actually you? No, it's not but, me. But, uh, yeah, you're, you're getting a big present on song TikTok. There you go. Algorithm. And I don't, I don't even have to do any work. I'm just letting everybody else do it for me. Yeah, a few people have asked me if they can put my pranks on TikTok. I'm just like, sure. Go ahead and expose my pranks to thousands of more people. I would appreciate that. There's one person that does it that has about a half a million subscribers. So, hell yeah, I'll play my stuff. I think that's going to be it for today's voicemails. And I hope you all enjoyed the show today. I'm going to try and do some more carding calls today after I get this all posted and everything so that I can uh, put up another show soon, either a snowplow show or a hobo so I don't know which one, but I'll be doing another one of those soon because, oh my God, I got to do all these cardings now. By the way, I forgot to mention on the beginning of the show, and now there's no chance that anyone's going to hear this, but if you have any good ideas for carding calls... Like, what I can say to these people that are calling in. Leave comments on YouTube. I try to read all of the comments. And whenever I see something good, I'll just copy it and paste it into my notebook. And hopefully use it later. That's what I did for most of today's show. So leave your ideas down in the comments. If you're listening to this on a podcast app, then I guess you can't do that. Or, I mean, I guess you could. Just go to YouTube. Leave your ideas down in the comments. Just like a real YouTuber. Okay, thanks everybody. Uh, Somebody asked for this song to be played at the end of today's show, and I don't even know whose song this is. I tried doing searches for the keywords. I didn't go and look at the original post that I made on Snowplow Show. I don't know. Anyway, here's a song by somebody, and it mentions Ding Timber, I think. Or wait, does it? Maybe it does. Thanks to whoever requested this one. Since I couldn't find it, I'm just copying it off of that old show. And playing it here. Oh, really? What are you going to tell her, you fucking sick bastard? It's none of your business. It's between me and her. Oh, it's none of my business? All of a sudden, now it's my daughter and it's none of my business? Well, I mean, I, I just assumed you wouldn't care since you've let her grow up to be a whore. whore, whore. PLA on PCN. 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 Yo, RBC be the illest. Yeah. PLA be the realest. All day. Take my car, ring full repairs. Don't give my number to the dealers. No, his words are will be calling. Four square, he stays stalking On the treadmill, I be walking He called it Jimmy, turn the fuse box off And then I fall He call it social engineering But I call it interfering He calls with an area code And I think I know he must be nearing I get scared and I call the cops Like a rich person in Cali With a historic wall That needs a power wash Get mail from down the street Call him up and let him hear me eat it When I tear it up into pieces Next time you'll see it's in pieces You're not safe if you order pieces Better tip better door so thin Call 7-Eleven, hi, I'm from Visa I need you to shut your machine off Five minutes later, hot, I'm from corporate Go to the back room where you store shit Find a great box, that'll number if you push it Get disconnected if you have a cordless Oh, Lord, you can't take more of this Shut the fuck, fuck up, shut the head in abortion All the noise background causing the distortion It's all the life, it's your misfortune PLA on PCN, PLA on PCN PLA on PCN, 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 PLA on PCN. Yeah.
Let me see, Pete. Get it.